cookies. Sweetie, I got some fresh chocolate chip cookies right out of the oven for you. She likes to wear this beautiful blue dress, so I use the blue marker to draw her. I'm thankful for my dad. He plays basketball with me almost every day. All right, Zoe, just how we practice. Get the ball and hoop. Watch me. Basketballs are orange, so I use the orange marker for this picture. I'm thankful for my mom. She reads to me almost every night. And so our story ends. The end. Wow, I have so many people to be thankful for. Who? Who? It's Zoe! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Drawing on more leaves today, are you? I sure am, Ollie. Today I'm drawing all the people in my family I'm thankful for. Family is special, it's true. I have a story about some brothers for you. Listen closely, just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through, follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. See what I'm working on? My sister asked me to make something special to decorate our dinner table. She's going to fill this box with pumpkins and it's going to sit on the table right in the middle of our family. Which reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha, great. All right, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. There we go. Now, I'm going to tell you a story about a man who was very thankful God gave him a brother because when he needed it most, his brother was there to help. This man's name was Moses, and his brother's name was Aaron. Now, they were a part of God's army. <laughs> One day, some mean people came to attack the Israelites. Everybody say, oh no, oh no. But Moses knew that God would help them, so, Moses held up God's staff. Okay, pretend to be like Moses and hold your arms up. Huh? Okay, great. So, Moses held up God's staff and the Israelites started winning. Everyone say, hooray! Hooray! <laughs> but uh-oh, look, Moses' arms are getting tired. Are your arms getting tired? Oh, oh, when Moses put his arms down, now put your arms down, God's army started losing. Everybody say, oh no, oh no. But when Moses held his arms up, arms up, the Israelites were winning. Everyone say, hooray, hooray. You can put your arms down now. But Moses couldn't put his arms down. 
Moses had to hold his arms up for a really long time. They start to get so tired. He needed help, so his brother Aaron and his friend Hur came to help. They brought a rock over for Moses to sit on, and then they held up his arms so that God's staff would not come down. And look, God's army won. Everyone say, hooray, hooray. <laughs> I'm sure Moses was very thankful God gave him family like Aaron and his friend Hur to help him. God gives us family to help us too, like our grandmas and our grandpas, our aunties, our uncles, our brothers and sisters too. God is good. <laughs> hey there, Ali. Tell me, who is good? God is good. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is good? God is good. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! So there's your story. It's all true. God gave Moses family to help him. God is good. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, that was such a fun story. God gave Moses a brother and a friend to help him hold his arms up. God is good. I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Moses' brother helps him. I have lots of people in my family who help me. I need to draw more leaves. I'll see you all next time. Bye!